We are here today at Kloster Mühle for our Leadership Seminar Philosophy and Practice. And um, I have the pleasure to be here with one of our um, participants. Um, tell us a little bit about your experience over the last three, three days. Thank you, Stormy. Well, first of all, I don't know wh where the three days have gone already. And uh, I can truly abide by the rule that, or by the saying that time really f flies fast when you're having a good time. Uh, for me personally, it's been a really wonderful experience, probably one of the best learning experiences I've had so far, and a true, true journey, learning journey. Uh, but most of all, I think uh, that uh, uh, I'm more, uh, let's say, um, rich, both in uh, with what I'm living with, but also with the circle of friends that uh, I'm uh, astonished that I found so much in common with. So this uh, seminar is called Philosophy and Practice. Um, so you did a lot of reading um, over um, the week before the seminar and during the seminar. Um, why do you think that philosophy is relevant today, um, in today's time? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think it's uh, relevant always. And even those who do not study philosophy actually uh, practice it without knowing it. Uh, for my maturity test, I, I uh, took uh, philosophy uh, as a choice, you know. Uh, and uh, although I've departed from from the uh, theoretical aspects of philosophy and from its ideas, I, it it always helped me guide, you know, uh, navigate through the world through difficult times. Uh, and I found uh, that it's useful, even you know, you you've left it behind, you know. So you're working for a company and you are in the energy sector, right? Yes. Um, and that can be a very stressful job. <laughs> Is there anything you take away from the seminar which could help you in your job? No, oh, certainly. And yes, I do agree that it might be stressful, but it's equally beautiful. And that helps you cope with the situation. But. Uh, the energy sector is, is a multifaceted uh, domain which involves uh, a social dimension uh, among commercial aspects so on and so forth. But uh, this is why I found that uh, philosophy helped me a lot, you know, because I have to deal with public policies and uh, concepts such as equality, uh, f uh, market uh, competition uh, have all been tremendously helpful in uh, formulating uh, or optimizing, let's say, legislation. So, uh, yeah, you can find philosophy, I think, in every bit of life's aspects. And uh, last question, is there anything which surprised you um, about the seminar, which you didn't uh, expect and you still liked? <laughs> well, the, for the first of all, the format. It's um, rather new to me. Um, everything surprised me, to be honest, from uh, from the location to to the quality of the stuff and uh, the very well put uh, seminar, the way it all fits together and uh, its progressive approach, you know. Uh, yeah, and I, th I think that uh, what amazed me the most, in all honesty, is the fact that uh, although participants come from different backgrounds and might have different views on how we approach the world, ultimately I think we, we, we share the, the same goal, you know to to uh, make the world a better place you know to uh, act our voices because that is the also the title of the seminar uh, and uh, w within that we found uh, connections and i'm sure that they will last post the seminar i very much hope that these uh, connections are long lasting um, and we uh, we were really happy to have you and hope to see you soon again at one of our aspen uh, events and seminars for sure and uh, the invitation also um, stands uh, f for you to come to Romania and maybe we will duplicate the seminar there mm. we certainly do <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much